Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick interview here with uh, Vlad from Hugs Over Masks. He's an amazing human being. So this is just a quick sneak peek and I'll put the links below for all the humans that wanna go and watch the full thing. So enjoy and we'll see you on the flip side. Over mask striptease, oh, oh, look at it. It's beautiful, the heart is beautiful. Um, it's moved from the Mandela effect. It used to be over here on the left. Now it's way over here. Did you guys know? It moved. It on moved. The side, on the left side. It's crazy. Okay, so um, here's what's happening. We're here. We're, we're flying people, and we're spreading the love and the truth and the light, and it's beautiful. And But I'm, it's really shocking for me, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because people are walking by, and we talk to some of the people, and it's gotten to a point where people are literally scared to hug other people which is so, some people are scared to talk that <laughs> which is even more crazy but yeah. let's not even talk about that people are afraid to hug and if you look at what's been going on for the last many 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 decades it's really been an agenda from higher up to get everybody at war with everybody on every single level you could possibly imagine. Division, Always division, separation. Let yeah. me do the question because we only have the one mic right now. Let me, he's so excited. He is so excited. He can't even wait for the question to be finished. So basically separation is the entire agenda because if we're fighting each other and it doesn't matter what the groups are, black, white, rich, poor, uh, you know, believe this, believe that, women versus men, all of it. As long as we're all fighting each other, they, the ones who are really pulling the strings, they can do anything. They can get away with anything because we're not actually watching them. We're too busy fighting each other. So it's very, very sneaky. And the latest move has literally worked to the degree where people are just afraid of other human beings because other human beings might make you sick and you might die. It's insanity beyond what I could have even imagined. Really, really, really. And after, after September 11th, I just went... For sure, they'll never do another false flag psychological attack. People will never fall for it because because they just couldn't. Because look how obvious this is. Like a building fell down, nothing hit it, it exploded. A building committed suicide. There was two planes, three towers went down. Uh, free, fall. free fall. It's just ridiculous. They'll never do another one. They did the most epic one, and it's so good and it's so brilliant. People are afraid of everyone. Now, <laughs> how do we stop it? How we stop it? Um, well, uh, what do we do? Everybody believes the news still. I know. They don't know. It's all the same people running all of it, the whole show. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I definitely, it's all connected. It's it's definitely not a coincidence. Um, but I still believe in humanity. I believe in humanity. I believe that what we're fighting for is eternal and infinite, and we're gonna win. We're gonna win this. So, I mean. Uh, what we do personally with Hugs of the Masks is we empower people with information. You know, uh, more than anything, we have a, we're combating brainwash and fear propaganda that's uh, been created by the government and the media, which is ultimately supports the government agenda. And, and we empower people with information. And I believe in intelligence. I believe in intelligence. I believe in humanity. I believe in best in people. Um, and and I, I come from compassion. We, and we all as a movement, we come from compassion, understanding that people have been brainwashed to be in a state of stress and fear. So not every single person will be receptive to information. And that should be okay. If nothing else, if we can just even uh, plant a seed of doubt in someone's mind, uh, it can make an impact. And the reason why it can make an impact and what we have working for us is the truth. The truth only needs to be said one time and it resonates. The lies have to be said over and over and over again. And that's what the media has been doing for the last seven months. They keep saying the same lies, you know, all this modeling and people are dying. They're going to die like in, in hundreds of thousands, you know, all around the world and all that stuff. And, and, and it's not the case. And now they still want to use the same model modeling uh, uh, projections and speculations ultimately definitely not a scientific data to justify second lockdown so um, and and again I believe that we're reaching a critical mass I uh, people I think people definitely get in enough enough is enough uh, and and we I believe also we're catching a great momentum because the media they trying their best to discredit us talk any way they can to you know uh, you know put some uh, doubt in people's mind but uh, we we're persevering and uh, that's again that's why we're going to win we're definitely going to win because uh it's just absolutely inevitable divine will cannot be cannot be trumped but here's an interesting question so for me the big challenge is finding that line like wanting to present 
an alternative to come in from a place of love and compassion, but not force anybody who's not ready yet. Because a lot of people, they're really in their process of awakening. And some people might be asleep another one year, five year, ten years. It's not up to us. They're, everyone's on their perfect journey, and it's that the one for them. So where, where for you is that line of you know finding the people who really are ready for that awakening and the people who you go, you know what, don't talk to them. <laughs> they're not ready, you know? I mean, the, you, the body language, the, the first response you get from them, and, and yeah, like, I definitely look at if the person is receptive and they're willing to listen, I'm, I'm more than happy to con to talk to them and discuss. Uh, however, as I always said before, like, we're not in convincing business, right? Uh, you know, if, if someone is really hard set, uh, I just rather let them go. Uh, and, and look for people that are willing to the message, you know, open to the message and, and willing to listen. And, and more than anything, actually connect with like-minded people anyway, because there's a lot of them out there. You know, when I started this, this movement and even before I started the movement, uh, the, the, the main thing that I found that as soon as I, I started a chat group on Facebook and I just connected random people back in March, the first thing people said is, oh my God, I can't believe I'm not the only one. And, and, and I knew that that was the more need than anything else is to create a community, a platform for like-minded people to come together. And that's what we've been doing with Hugs of the Mask, besides the education campaign. Uh, we've been focusing on creating this local support communities. This is one of them, uh, Vancouver uh, area. We have over 25 chapters all across Canada, in the United States, uh, all around the world. And, and more than anything, it's just really providing a, a place for people to come together and support each other. Beautiful. Well, we're doing it, and uh, every conversation makes a difference. And like you said, even planting that little seed where people are going, wait a second, people are going around hugging? Yes, they're going around hugging. You know, what could be going on in their crazy minds? <laughs> Hug saves lives. Hugs do save life. When people come to our events uh, and we give them a hug, sometimes that's the first hug they got in like the last six months. And that's insanity to think about it, but that's the truth. You know, people are starving for human connection. People are starving for human touch. And, and again, trying to think that that's not what's supposed to be happening, it's, it's, it's denying your own humanity. And again, we, it's our responsibility to at least, uh, uh, you know, give a, a perspective to people to, in terms of that, that, you know, hugging and, and being with other humans is your humanity. And then, you know, it's funny how that guy is walking there and doing this with his nose and thinking this is, this is going to protect him. <laughs> I mean, this is just what we deal with. And I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry, like, like <laughs> this, you know, this is man, right? Like, if you want to think about man went to Second World War, right? F fearless. In, in, the, in the face of death, and now we have men like that, like, it's unfortunate. But again, this is also part of the agenda. We need to understand. The, the it's the main agenda. It's the main agenda, dehumanization of humanity, cutting off our hearts, making us afraid of each other. I mean, it is the ultimate agenda. And it tells you about uh, the consciousness of the people running the show that they want that for all of us. That's, that's amazing. It is. It is. But again, I mean, we've been here before. You know, I say this often in, in, in my speeches that uh, this is not the first time humanity has been under assault. Uh, and, and, uh, and ultimately, what we really need to understand, and, and that's the message I want to pass on to your viewers, uh, evil has a chance to spread vast and fast when good people do nothing. And that's why we're here again. We're here to empower people to take action. And when you see discrimination and harassment taking place, in front of you, you have to speak up and you have to defend those people because that, that was not okay in the 60s, that was not okay even earlier than that. And what I truly believe, we are uh, in the civil rights movement of the 21st century. I, I really believe that. More like the human rights movement, but yeah. Awesome. Thanks for being here. I'm just uh, obviously a supporter because I'm out here hustling on the streets. It's great. Must, baby. I even do it when I'm not supposed to and sometimes I get in trouble. So uh, this has been a little sneak peek for the Wokus Fuck podcast. We're going to do a full episode soon, and I'm sure it's going to be juicy. Thank you very much. All right. See you guys on the flip side.